Hello and welcome back to Dragon Quest Walt Tutorials. I am Kohitsukizi, and in this video, we are going to do a battle against uh, the Glacier Demon, but this time it's going to be a level 30 plus battle. So, with this video, it's going to be just about the same as my previous video. Ooh, move this out of the way. <laughs> Sorry about that. So pretty much all the characters are going to be the same. They're all level 66. Uh, they have the exact same equipment and souls as the previous video. So if you want to refresh on that, you can look at the previous video or you can check down in the video description below. Then for my uh, support character, I'm going to have an armamentalist but equipped with the Baroque Edge. So this should be okay for this particular battle. I'm guessing that uh, this particular character is going to have uh, be using uh, the flash wing attack probably on the uh, glacier demon and not on the others. Well, it's possible. I'm not quite sure, but um, that's where that is. Then also to remind you, the Glacier Demon is going to be accompanied by a Mud Hand and a Blood Hand. Uh, both have the ability to summon others of their kind and then also have regular attacks. But the Blood uh, uh, Hand actually has the Curse Attack, which is a physical attack that actually causes Curse on you, which halves your HP. So with that said, I'm going to go into this battle. So hopefully things go well. Okay. So to start off, I'm going to use Fubaha to protect myself against breath. Uh, how to breath attacks here, just using uh, Supernova, did some pretty good damage on the Mud Hand. And for here, I'm going to use Burning Cleave. Hopefully, it will um, have uh, the effect. Ooh, yes. Okay, so now the Glacier Demon's uh, magical attacks actually have been lessened. Uh, the power of them, so that's going to be good. So hopefully, I can also get Ruka Neon. And I did. Alright, so right now things are going pretty well. Okay. Oh wow, miss. Okay. Alright. So, so far, wow. So far, so good. Uh, that round went very well. So again, going to use Fubaha. Here, also Supernova. And burning Cleave. Okay, so this time the Blood Hand. Then going to heal up. And then this support character attacks. There. Problem. Ooh, okay. Let's see what happens next. Okay. Okay, so that has been shadow bound. Alright, with that, the mud hand is now down. So heal up. Nice guard. Nice next attack, regular attack. Okay, so now let's see what my ranger is going to do with this attack. I'm going to attack the Glacier Demon. Nice Shadow Bind. So I think maybe for that last attack. Okay, nice. 
So the Glacier Demon actually has um, now actually two steps to the um, lowering of the magical uh, attacks. So things are actually going pretty well for this battle. Actually, for this attack, I might want to use, let's see, actually, I think I'm going to use Guiding Rays of Light, just 2,000 damage, that's not too bad, but, uh, Okay. So now with this, I need to rebuff uh, Fugaha. Okay. Battle Master is asleep. No problem. And my support character just went away. Okay, so in this case, that is the counter stance. So what's going to happen with that is if I attack my, um, if I attack him, I will get 25% uh, of the damage that I do to him uh, will go to me instead. So it's best to pretty much uh, just attack the blood hand in this case. So. Uh, it's pretty much almost like a free round of just uh, to heal up. Nice damage there. Nice shadow bind. Uh, actually, in this case, for my superstar, I'm actually just going to heal up. Then for my Battlemaster, I will attack the Blood Hand. Then here, heal up with my Sage. Again, counter stance. Again, just the same thing. Heat Slicer. And heal my Battle Master. And guiding rays of light on the blood hand. Okay, but blood hand is pretty much almost down. Probably the next round, it will um, it'll probably be done for. Okay, ah, the blood hand just summoned a friend. Okay, so in this case, ooh. Alright, so here, what we're going to do... Hmm. So I'm going to get rid of this blood hand. Okay. Get rid of that. Okay, then the next round I'm gonna have to recast uh, Fubaha. Nice guard. Ooh, okay. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, nice shadow bind though. And the Glacier Demon is actually uh, pretty much almost down. Ooh. Oh wow. I completely forgot about that. Um mm. I completely forgot to uh uh recast uh Fubaha. So this is gonna make things a tiny bit tougher. Unless uh I can actually with this attack uh be rid of the Glacier Demon, but no. Let's 
so I have a feeling, okay, what's going to be the next attack? Ooh, okay, that's actually not so bad. So since the Glacier Demon is almost done, I'm going to concentrate on attacking it instead of the Blood Hand. So I'm going to use Heat Slicer. And Shadow Bound, so that's uh, good for there. Burning Cleave. Supernova. Okay, so Glacier Demon is now down, so I just now have to worry about the Blood Hand, which is uh, not something I'm really worried about at all. And like that, the battle is over. So things actually did go pretty well, uh, the kind of almost exactly the way that I plan planned it. So right in the beginning, I was able uh, to pretty much get uh, the effects of the Burning Cleave on, uh, had resistances to uh, Hyato spells with um, the Burning Cleave and also uh, my Rangers uh, Fubaha. And then I was also able to get uh, uh, Nukani on the Gla Glacier Demon early on in the battle. And I get a D, no problem. Okay. All right, so that was my level 30 plus battle with uh, the Glacier Demon. So like I said, uh, things actually went uh, kind of just as planned. Uh, I did actually forget to cast uh, Fubaha, uh, I think a third time in the, during the battle, but uh, things ended up being okay in the end. Uh, I was able to get the Glacier Demon down. So, uh, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you would like to see more, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.